Hello everyone, welcome to another Let's Play on the channel. Now if there's one thing I think we've had a paucity of here, it is cats. I don't feel like I've been holding up my end of the bargain as regards our feline friends. So to try and redress the balance, I'm now going to play Milo and the Magpies, which looks to be a rather charming point-and-click adventure game released in 2021. Now, um, as I start to credit people, I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to get ahead of myself and say that I'm going to try and pronounce their names correctly, but I suspect I will probably fail in several circumstances. So if anybody in the comments would like to put me right as to how to correctly pronounce these names, please do, because I'd uh, appreciate the opportunity to learn. So this is primarily the work of um, papercraft artist and painter Johan Skerft, who is Dutch, I believe. And on Johan's website, which I will link in the video description, um, because I really think you should check out his work because it's um, it's quite delightful. Um, there is a, there's a really good description uh, of the history and the uh, the primary contributors to the game. So I'm going to read that out because I think that's a, a great way to get started. But I did want to say that um, there are several uh, different ways to buy the game. Um, it only costs two two dollars, I think, in each of the locations that I found. It's on Steam. It's on itch.io. I think it's on the Google Store and the um, Apple Store as well, I believe. So it's available for a variety of platforms. One thing I did find once I had installed it is that all the menu options um, here were initially coming up with um, the tags for whether variables they are. So the first thing I had to do was set the language that I wanted. So that might be a little tip for you if you'd like to play that yourself. Make sure you go to the, the globe symbol, choose your uh, language of choice, and that should uh, populate all these labels correctly then. Um, so I'm going to get the old uh, credits up while I read uh, Johan's introduction here. So Milo and the Magpies is a point-and-click game telling a story of the little cat Milo who goes from garden to garden meeting all different kinds of people and animals. Milo gets a glimpse of the people living in their houses and discovers that the appearance of a garden tells a lot about the people who live there. It started off as a little game or animated story, but over time the project grew bigger and more people got involved. I made the story in animations and hand-painted the backgrounds. A part of the animations, especially the movements of the cat, are done by the artist Bartel Brussi. At the final stage, I got a lot of help from programmer Jeroen Wimmers, who made the game more professional and suitable for Android. The team of the popular Rusty Lake game series decided to publish this game as a premium game in their company The Second Maze, which is a platform for special art games. In the final stage, the composer, Victor Butzela, made a beautiful soundtrack which attributes a lot to the atmosphere. So there we go, I think that sets us up nicely. Um, if we also look at the question mark page here, there's some uh, hints on how to play. Uh, so interact with Milo and other characters he meets along the way by clicking on them. Some items can be dragged from one place to another, which is good to know. Solve the puzzles in each garden to unlock the way home for Milo. Click on areas to zoom in. In some areas you can further zoom in to access clues. So to me that sounds like we just, um, we're not scrolling or anything, we're just, we're just clicking to to get that zoom in uh, in special areas where that is applicable uh, and click on any text to see the translated version. So I wasn't sure whether there'd be any um, dialogue or speech or anything but I think there might be because there is a credit for uh, voice actors um, and so we might be some might be some text in here as well. So there are secrets to find which is exciting and this sort of gives you a delineation of the, the different levels. Um, I expect this to be quite a short game, um, probably. It's um, already I really love the um, the aesthetics of it. That's one of the things that really drew me to it. You see Milo here, having a little clean, a little bath. Um, let's get started. Let's get straight in here, and we'll see what happens. Ah, oh, cutscene. Just three roofs to cross, and then I am home. Thinks Milo. Ah, oh, so mag those pesky magpies. Why are these birds always blocking my way? <gasps> Go away! I have to get rid of them. Okay, this is Milo's quest, is it to... Oh, the first step home, chapter one. 
Do we have to avoid the magpies or get past the magpies? Oh, okay, this is exciting. So there's... Now I have to find my way through the gardens of these weird people. Click on Milo. <laughs> okay, we'll do. This is rather delightful. So I, yeah, there's a person picking up leaves. There's a pesky magpie there, which I, I think I can click on. I guess if it's going to tutorialize me, I'd better follow the tutorial. And there was a robotic uh, um, uh, lawnmower. That's the word I was looking for. A robotic lawnmower in this corner a minute ago. Fascinating. Okay, all right, let's click on Milo. Ah, uh, nice. Okay, ah, uh, hybrid working, that's good. Um, Alrighty, okay. So I click on Milo again. Interesting. Um, yeah, so I'm not quite sure how gameplay wise this is going to work out, but I'll start clicking on things in a minute. I just want to say um, uh, that about the aesthetics of the game. It really does put me in mind of um, kind of 70s animation um, with the um, simplistically coloured uh, animated characters and the really um, densely textured painted backgrounds. Um, also makes me think of the illustrator and um, comics artist Raymond Briggs, um, if you're familiar with, with his work. Um, and also um, things like Yuri Norstein as well, the, the animations of Yuri Norstein where um, there's lots of uh, dense, um, colourful texture uh, in all the environments as well. Okay, so I can click on Milo and the magpie. Let's try the magpie first. Okay, the magpie just goes us. I mean, it does. All, uh, can I click on the fountain? No. It does also make me think of um, the original Sam. Oh, <gasps> the laptop. The original Samarost as well. I can read. The <laughs> I can read this person's emails. <laughs> Amazing. Um, and um, I think this might be a partially, at least partially made in Flash, uh, as Samrost was, uh, because there is an SWF file in the uh, the game files as well. Okay, let's read this email. So this is uh, <laughs> to Yanko at rommelcott.nl. Hanging branches. Dear neighbour, I am writing to ask if you can please prune your maple tree. Branches are hanging over the wall and seeds end up falling into my otherwise tidy garden. If you need to borrow any tools for this, or any other yard work, please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you for your understanding and... Oh nice, it, it comes up in a different font as well. Snazzy. Can I, uh, I mean it would be very strange if Milo could with the power of his mind influence this uh, email sending. Um, kind of a, <laughs> kind of a weird, uh, weird thing to do to email your neighbour about that. But uh, we live in interesting times, don't we? Okay, Milo, what can you do? A game of hide and seek. Oh, with the magpie. Okay. Oh, I can click on the fountain. I would go around the fountain. Okay, cool. <laughs> nice. Oh, okay, the little mouse back. Some of just can be activated by clicking on them. Well, let's do that. Small objects can be dragged and put elsewhere. Oh, so that little thing was a rock. Put the stone in, on the fountain. Okay, sure. To block it. How does that help me? Oh, because the magpie wants to sit there. Oh, dramatic sting? Now what? <laughs> the tension music's so dramatic. What can I... Pounce! <gasps> it went... <laughs> It went to just it went to extra widescreen, and the uh, the magpie did a bit of poo on the on its way. <laughs> oh no! But I want the feather. Oh, this person is very diligently. Oh, okay. <laughs> 
they're very um, very proud of their garden that person I think Ooh, this is more my kind of garden I think okay so it's my over here on the left okay and there's the magpie and there's a bicycle and a painting and sunflowers and this beautiful frog statue by the pond and then an enormous I'm guessing, well, I mean, it could be a goldfish, but it's so large that I'm going to say it's a, uh, a koi. And there's a hedgehog, amazing. And dragonflies, wine and cards, broken pane of glass. Ah, oh, so much going on. Okay, well, let's um, see what we can do with the bike. Ooh, there's a bike lock. I won't do anything with that yet. This is kind of more intensely puzzly than I thought it might be. Can I... The arrow? Can I swipe? No? Click and drag? Nice. Nice pastel drawing. Hmm. Uh, okay. And so, let's click on the frog. Oh, beautiful. I love all these details. Hmm. Okay. Uh, and the oh, nice dragonflies just sort of flutter around. That's a nice little Samarosti type interaction. Uh, Koi bobs around a bit. Hey, Chuck! <gasps> Tree, you would hide up. Um, you're at the wrong time, because I don't think it's. Uh, it's uh, late enough for you, but it looks like it's quite light still. Can we interact with the painter? Oh! Hi! <laughs> I'm at the table. Okay, let's get on the table. Cards. Okay, there's a two of hearts under the wine bottle. It really wants to show us that no matter where we click. Um, and. Nothing else there. Well, that was a number at least, wasn't it? That we could uh, input onto the bike lock. Um, what was this? What's this arrow about? I wonder. Paintbrush, bottle, frog, apple. Are there any? Because there's a f there's a paintbrush there. Oh, there's a. Frog there. Oh, I see. There are a certain number of points on the frog's crown, right? The paintbrush could be a one, and the apple. Oh, hi, Hedgehog, you're over here now. That's delicious. Um, oh, I haven't in interacted with this. Oh, oops. Oh, well, that's interesting. The hot spot for the um, table extends away to this window. I hope that is as it's meant to be. Uh, Alright. Apples. Can anybody see any apples? Is an apple a zero? Okay, let's try it. So it was. What was it? It was two. Two? Okay, two under the bottle. So one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, six, zero. Let's try it. One, two, six, zero. Good. Are we good? So we got to nine. Okay, I think that's the solution. But that was a good try. Okay, Milo, get down here. <gasps> mm, there's also a hose running to. Oh, maybe we need to get the bike moved so that we can get to the hose, the tap, to turn the hose on. I'm not quite sure why we need to do that. Oh, so we can spray the magpie? Because we're, we're definitely trying to get our own back on the magpie, aren't we? Hmm. 
Where do you go, Milo? <laughs> A fence! <gasps> ah, okay, so the mag. <laughs> Look at your big eyes, Milo! <gasps> oh! Awesome! Okay, so I think Milo's gonna just chill out. Oh, hang on! Can I click on the window from here? <gasps> Milo? <gasps> We're getting up to all sorts of cat-like mayhem. That's rather fine. Um, okay, I don't know what happens now. Is Milo's in the... The handle's already fallen off. I can't click on the window. I need the... Oh, I don't... Oh, a key? To the door? Huh, kind of points to some things, doesn't it? Oh, to here. Oh, <gasps> magpie! <gasps> oh, the apple's up there where the magpie was. Outrageous. So, <laughs> oh, sorry, Milo. <laughs> Can I look at your paintbrush? <gasps> it's a number eight. Okay, I'm going to have to write this down, aren't I? Alright, paintbrush is eight. Well, now now all the pieces are falling. Oh, excuse me, drop your pen. Now all the pieces are falling together. Hi, painter. And then the bottle was two. I think that was the second one, wasn't it? And the, hopefully the frog's number is one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the thing that makes sense to me. I just realised the bottle I've drawn looks rather suspicious. Um, and number three latched onto this. I like to think the artist has, uh, has placed all these as some kind of installation. Alright, I'm not sure how this is going to help Milo get out of the shed, but let's unlock this bike. So it's eight. I'm impressed that it remembered what I'd put in. Six, three. Hey! Okay, the bike falls over. Let's turn the tap on. Let's do it. Nice 2D animation. I love it. Okay. Oh, okay. So the water prompts the fish to move, and then I get the key back, and I can unlock the door because the magpie's gone. And Milo can get out and get to the next garden. Ah, <gasps> oh, this is good. Okay. Off we go, Milo. Uh, the fair? Uh, the fair? Oh. Oh, we need, we need to cut the. I'm glad I'm here as an invisible agent to help Milo get home. It would be quite uh, fun to see Milo use some work at Cutters though. Child's play. A cat can never resist a box. It's true. <laughs> okay, so there's a slight child. There's a model helicopter child. There's a very slightly trampolini child. And uh, and there's a frisbee there. And there's a person in the next garden as well, which is interesting. A ball stuck there. Let's pop that ball out. Let's pop it out. Come on. Come on. Okay. That's not going to happen by itself. Okay. Hello. Are you swooping up? Yeah. Trampoline! Bounce! Oh, that's a nice little bit of animation. Okay, you're bouncing. Are you gonna fly your helicopter? Oh, that's... okay. Oh! Good work. And then sliding child? Slide, child! Slide! Nice. Uh, stop trampolining, please. Oh! Oh, you go higher! Okay. Let's just... let's just get things going, see what happens. Milo? Am I turning around on the box? Okay, go even higher! Whoa! Okay. I'm not 
sure how we get this ball or balloon from behind this drain pipe. Slide, child. Okay. Is there anything else to interact with? Doesn't feel there's anything inside to worry about. Oh, no, that's I think that's the child's hotspot, isn't it? Um, that's the. Oh no, this is a bra. Oh. Oh, something fell down. What's this? <gasps> I found a secret. It's a little glow bug. <gasps> that's nice. Hmm. Uh. Well, so I can do that, and then the child can go high. And that scares the magpie back. Oh! Okay. What happens when the person is looking at the magpie? Ah! <gasps> yes, we can get the neighbour to notice the ball, and then we've got the ball in play. Which, I don't know how that affects things. Oh? Okay, I feel like we need to do a... S no? Oh! <gasps> Play ball? Play ball? Oh! <laughs> Milo does not look pleased. Okay, uh... Okay, I can't interact with the helicopter pilot, but I can do the ball again. Maybe I need the, this child to be here? Oh, they keep going round now, okay. And that keeps going against the fence. Ah, uh, Mario Pie. Milo? Can't click on Milo. Ah. Curious. Okay, so this child cannot interact with. This child can kick ball in similar way. This child will slide. No. Well, and this branch still shakes a little bit, which is cool. <laughs> um, bo box or Milo? No. So I don't. If these two draw. Oh, ah! I thought something might happen. <laughs> oh dear, there's a duck pond down there. Go for it, Milo. Come on. Okay. Oh, hang on. Can trap with the. No? Oh, the helicopter's not working. Oh, hang on. There's batteries. Let's give you the batteries. Okay, it's going off into the arse. No, it's going back here. Yeah, bye magpie. And then... <gasps> they loved it. That was delightful. Chapter four, feed the birds. That feels counterintuitive for Milo. <gasps> uh, is he more this person's garden? That's nice. Nice continuity. So we've got this little birdie here, which I would hesitate to try and identify because I don't know my birds very well. And there's a little gnome. <gasps> and a wiggly worm. I wonder if the humans know that the gnome's alive. Oh, here's a wiggly worm. Let's give it to this bird. Looks like the sort of thing they'd be after. 
Would you like it, buddy? Would you like a magpie? Oh. Oh, there's a little snail as well. Oh no, sorry. That does kind of happen when you uh, interfere with... Oh, well that looks like a robin. I'm not sure what that is. That looks quite exotic. Oh, it's one that breaks out. Oh, sorry, snail. I you end up ending up having a, a bad day. Well, let's put these on here too. Oh, there we go. Ooh, seeds. Ah. <gasps> Oh, this is nice. We really are feeding the birds today. Oh, that looks like some kind of finch to me, that one there. Um, lovely. Right, are there any other things I can... Well, I can interact with the... The rubbish. There's a slice of bread. I bet the, some birds would like that. Okay. Oh, we're taking off which ones they've seen. Brilliant, that's definitely a blue tip. And that's probably probably a blackbird, isn't it? Pigeon? Or is that a collared dove? It might be a collared dove. Oh, it's just coming down now for the bread. Oh, fantastic, it's our checklist. Oh, what's, oh, what's this up here? Watering can, brilliant. Then what should we water? Opening in the bird is that a bird bath? Wonderful. <laughs> Hello. Oh, that's so that's a blue tip. Excellent. Is that have we completed our set? No, we did the black bird. Didn't we? Okay. Can we interact with? No, not that way. But awesome. Um, I assume. I was probably going to try and catch them all uh, once we've got them in, but I'm just enjoying finding them. Okay, so what else could we do? Let's do a little, do a little. There's a dark shape there. What's that all about? It's like some kind of recumbent gnome in the tree. Is that a thing that we can do anything about? Hmm. My leg. Oh, there's an apple here. Ah, can I get the, here we go, apple two, that should get our last birdie in I think, there we go, beautiful, oh, <gasps> oh. bird of prey, Oh my goodness. That was a bit exciting. <gasps> like, oh. Whoa. But that wasn't in your book. I click on it. <gasps> it pops up and down. <sighs> awesome. Right, Milo, can you sneak past while they're looking at the... The hawk or whatever it is? Yes! Can we get through that? This hedge is too thick. We need this recumbent gnome here. I'll try more further in the garden. Oh! Chapter 5, a fishing trip. Ah, oh, oh, this is... So there was a little uh, canal at the bottom of the garden, so that's why one of the children got, got soaked. A pond weedy. <gasps> Delightful. Why are they all lined up like they're going to have a race? Very exciting range of waterfowl there. There's loads of stuff in this little this little cabin here. It's very homey. There's a doggy down there which we might not want to run into. There's a little there's a little guy here. Who's this little guy? You see that? Hmm. Okay, hello Fisher. Anything biting? Oh, you're getting sleepy. Uh, can't click on the bow. Oh, it's a little frog. Oh. oh, 
Sampai selera Music is rather lovely isn't it Doggy <laughs> Click where the frog went Okay Ah uh, right We chase the frog into the water And then the birds are dispersed We can see the person who lives across the way Hello. Oh, ah, oh, oh, from the birds. So there's oranges and bread and cereal, probably, and toasted bread and an apple and something dark and slicey. So I don't know if that helps. Can I click on the, I can click on the birds now, great. Is this a bird puzzle? Might be a bird puzzle. Oh, maybe I need to feed them all. What's that? Oh, I see. So do I need to go like... Oh. How do I know what order things are going to get thrown in? Oh. Oh, that would have worked for that one. So do... Oh, they need a thing of the right colour to match their coloration, right? So that... Oh. Alright, so I think I'd kind of... I think I've kind of got it. So if I go this one, this one, this... Oh, no. That was the same thing twice. Come on. So now it should be this one, right? No. Okay. Huh? Huh? I'm so confused. Okay, this one. This one. Yes. What? I'm not sure what one you're gonna do now. It's not like you went to something brown. So I'm gonna go for this one. Oh. Got that right, okay. And if you go to the okay, so you've gone to really the really dark stuff. So I will do this bird, this food. Yes. And then we're on orange peel. Although I don't, really don't think this this fowl would eat orange peel, but let's complete the puzzle. They're orange segments, aren't they? Maybe no. Would a water bird eat orange segments? I feel not. Okay, and then speckly one? Is this the last one left? Yes. All those birds have been fed and they're off. And the fisher pulls was their line up for them to go. It's nice. Oh interesting. And then something is biting. What is it? Station in there. Oh, don't get too close, Milo. <gasps> no! Disaster! This is terrible. Oh no! How do I. Is this game over? What, what do I do? <gasps> what? What is this? Some kind of pike or something? <gasps> Click on Milo to make him swim faster. <gasps> I didn't realize there'd be an action sequence. <gasps> <gasps> no, this is terrifying. Don't make me do this. Okay, Milo, you're very near some some boards here. Get up on the boards. Oh, my goodness. Eat that. <laughs> oh, now you're shivery cold. Oh, is the person going to help dry you off? 
Yay! Wow, you're having quite the day, Milo. Oh no, a hair dryer! <gasps> but Milo would hate that. Oh, I'm being brushed. Oh, the kingfish is headed off. Oh, you're so fluffy and shiny. <laughs> and then, can you jump across there? Yeah, you can do it, my love. Yay, so we're in the next garden. Oh, the doggy's looking at us. Okay, let's go. Let's get to the next chapter. I think. I think that's where we're headed. Yay, chapter six. Booky time. Okay, lovely. So there's there's another uh, another feline up there. There's a little little. Uh, it might be a sphinx cat, or it might be a small dog. I can't quite tell. It's really cat flap or dog flap, as it might be. Some beautiful butterflies in this uh, tree full of blossom. There's a little uh, little cupid there. The musician at the piano. There's somebody having a drink up there and a crushed beer can there. Was a little ramp? I didn't know there's a little ramp there for the cat to go for a walk. That's nice. Well, we're well clear of these magpies at any rate. So, how are we going to navigate this area? I feel like something's going to appear here because that these colours look denser than the rest of the environment. Alright, let's get, start clicking on stuff. Uh, let's click on this cat. Oh, sleepy purrs. Let's click on this person. Okay, just a little nod of acknowledgement, I think. <laughs> Bomb notes. Um, Milo. No, I can't click on Milo. Cat flap. Oh. Uh oh. That didn't bode well. Right. Um. Uh oh. Now Milo. Now Milo. Oh, don't go in. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. I've never seen a cat flap like that, but I assume they they do ex do exist in the real world. Um. Yeah, I think they can refuse to open unless you've got the right um, collar, or maybe microchip, I don't know how advanced they go. Okay, so I can't do that anymore. Where would you go now? Catnip? <gasps> well, um... <laughs> oh no, the magpie came back. <gasps> There's a ghost! What? Did you just see that ghost? This is a very strange state of affairs. Oh, this is going to interfere with the musician, you think? Hey, shut it. <laughs> oh. oh, I can move the music. Can I move? Oh. I can no longer click there? Oh. Must purr sounds. All right. Okay. Well, I had I had some music, but I'm not sure. I didn't keep clicking because I wasn't sure that that's what was happening. But it was. Um. Oh, perhaps that was what I was supposed to do. The Mad Cat Boogie. <laughs> okay. Okay, <laughs> this is going to get a bit wacky, isn't it? <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Are you gonna come and dance too? Please come and dance too. <gasps> Cupid! Oh, I see. <laughs> well, that was uh. <laughs> Very roundabout. <laughs> Unexpected help. Oh, that sounds fun. Okay, inside the musician's house. It's got some DLC lives in it. Ah, and they, I think it must be a Sphinx cat, right? Curled up behind the person there. And the world's biggest coffee cup there. Various keys. They're quite security conscious in this house, I feel. Um, oh, okay. We're making postcards for them. Well, this dancing made me thirsty. Okay, and that's clicking on the, the water. Um, can't click on any books or the trumpet or anything. I can click, can I click on the light? I feel like that would be an interactable thing, no? What about this marker here? No? A sock? A ball? A ball? A chair? A cushion? A person? A cat? A picture? A clock? A bust? A shell? An ornament? An ornament? A light? A magpie in a, in a glass case? Um, cat lair tray? Uh, keys? Oh! Okay, so what I know can interact with one that's now in the cat layer. Right? Look at that little dog. Perhaps there are stairs over there and I can go back to the roofs. Good thinking, Milo. <gasps> I've been spotted. That door is closed. <gasps> is that a cat? Laser pen? Oh, it's a laser pen. <laughs> okay, I don't know what to do now. Oh, get it over there. And then we can get the cat in the tray. Get that key out. We're all sorted, I think. Can I get the key? Yeah. The door? No? Does it go this door? No. Oh. Uh, there. No? Ah. So the arrow seems to orient itself to certain hot spots. But I don't know what was. I just thought this would be the door, right? That we need to go through. But what else would we need to un. Oh, here. Ah. Ooh, ball cup. Little flower. Framed picture of a cat. Beethoven. Pamphlet of some kind. Clock. Sunset. Feather. Question mark. Okay, <laughs> what does it mean? Oh, it's the things we need to point at. Ball. Cup. Channel house spots. Uh, plant. Flowers, these flowers. Picture of white cat. Over here. Picture of white cat. Oh. Uh, is there another white cat thing? This. Hmm. I feel like it should be this. But the cat's not really paying attention. Over here. Over here. Maybe it's this ball I should be doing. Right. 
So Beethoven should be an option, right? Clock should be an option. Sunset? It's like the bulb, doesn't it? And then Feather is Magpie. Question mark, I'm not sure. Okay, well that doesn't quite seem to work, does it? I don't think, unless I've got the wrong interpretation of what White Cat is. Oh, the Sphinx is an instantly recognisable breed among other cats. Among the other cats, this breed appears to be completely naked. In fact, this cat does have hair, a fine coat of down. Their skin is wrinkled on their legs, body, and head. It is a very social cat, affectionate towards people and friendly to other cats. The Sphinx is also very active, loves to scramble and to play. Maybe this is time for Milo to move. No. No. How do I get the cat's attention over there? Do I have to turn the light off? Ah. Uh, I'm ready to start again now. Should I start again now? Uh, with the ball? Or this ball? Okay, and then a cup. Does that work? Yeah, and then the cushion. And then the picture of the white cat. You see it now? Yes, okay, and then wait heaven. That's a confusing puzzle, but we got there. And then the clock. And then the light bulb. You're very high sphinx cat. And then the magpie. No? Uh, why not? No. Um. I mean, hmm. What else could it be? Six cap, yeah. Ah! Uh. It's got to be a stair. Do we need to move the. I can't move the part of plant at all, I don't think. Can we get you back down by doing the opposite? No. Okay, do we need to do an intermediate step, like kind of like we did with turning the light off? Um, with something in between you and the magpie. Do we need to turn this light switch off? It's a mirror here. Oh! <laughs> nice, I like that puzzle. Okay, can we sneak out now? Oh, why not? No. Uh, now, mystery. Here? Oh, the handle. <laughs> Now we can see out. Uh oh. I think we're gonna make it though. <laughs> uh oh. Oh dear. Okay, they got their colour back. <laughs> Not impressed. Oh. Bye. Thank you. Hey. Chantal? <laughs> hey, Chantal. <gasps> Chapter 8 The New Neighbours. I must. Are we one away from home?
Oh, this is where the dog lives. Okay. So we'll probably have to avoid the dog. Somebody watching TV downstairs. It's a picture of the family. There you go. There is a rat. That may be relevant. The dog looks very cheesy there. Very cheesy green dog. Ah, <gasps> YXMP. Don't know what that means. Always good to find a combination. What's in that? Oh, hello. Something. Something moving in that bag. Hmm. It's a little moth in there. Can I operate that? Oh. Dog kind of interested in. Oh. Oh. I kill you. <laughs> oh, I see. I understand what's growing in there now. Probably is a bit smelly, isn't it? I kill you. <laughs> okay, how about these clothes? Oh, I can reorder the clothes. Interesting. YXMP. Is that clothing? It could be. It looks like a cocoon. Um, how about you? Hi. No? Hmm. Mail slot? No? Okay, let's have a look at the photo again for clues. Why not? <laughs> Look at that bushy tail. Okay. Um, what if I go? Dog goes there. Wallow goes. Jumps over. I kill you. Okay. No, that doesn't seem to work. Which is, which is alright. Um. MP. Is it a count to nine like on the bike look? Yeah. Um what could YXMP mean? What's that gotta do with moving these clothes around, do we think? Could that relate to the photo? Yeah, it could, couldn't it? The things they're wearing. Oh, the stripy thing is the dog's jacket. Now I understand. So from left to right, it was flowery. It was white. It was, I guess that it would be red and then black and then stripy. Oh. Uh oh. Didn't quite work, did it? Okay, well that caused something to fall down, but I'm not quite sure how that relates to what is in this bag. I'm not sure how that relates to uh, anything else. Oh. Oh, I've got a bottle. Let's put it in here. Let's put it. Uh, in here. Would you like this bottle? <laughs> okay, we, just gave, we just gave him a beer. Nice. You like it? Oh no. Uh, it's warm. Oh. Okay. So we got. A couple of things that doggy can. Uh, oh, the bro what am I gonna do with the broken ball bear? Uh, oh, this bag, right? <gasps> There's a little rodent in there. Well, that was exciting. So, how are we, how are we gonna distract this doggy with this? Oh, 
Nope. Am I going? Okay, go for it my way. No. Okay. Okay. We need to reconstruct the. Okay. Oh, nice. Is this going to be all about the community that we just walked through? <gasps> I think we're in this Milo. It's like uh, the uh, neighborhood newsletter. One's week, week, yeah. Famous piano player Jan Cortelant. Open house concert on July the 16th. On the, July the 6th. Avon Zander, Marjolaine Peter. Uh, so that's why X, M, and P hoping for a second chance. Stick on my family is settling nicely in their new home. The family moved house after multiple disputes with the locals in their previous neighbourhood. The complaints range from weird smells to lots of noise from the family dog, Yelp, uh, who is described to bark everything around the yard. Uh, that's certainly been true so far. Uh, Painter Yanko Romelcott exhibits in Town Hall. Nice! And of course, cat named Milo. Grey colours is missing. <sighs> okay, so YXMP, but then I need numbers right to those people as well. What could the numbers be? Is there anything I can click on on here? No, not that I can see. Um, hmm. Anything else in here? Hey, kill you. I can distract the dog again, for sure. Yeah, I think Milo will just wait until the dog's back in the centre. So how am I going to get some numbers out of this? Oh, let's reconstruct it again. Ooh. Are there any numbers concealed in here? Ah, okay, now it's... Ah! Okay, now it's officially... Uh... <sighs> officially assembled. Maybe it'll stay that way. Um... Oh yeah, thanks. Yeah, so I don't know what num numbers... Are going to be associated with them. I'm not quite sure why I've got all these sniffy distractions around the yard as well. Hmm. I'm gonna take a quick break and get myself a cup of tea and think about what we need to do next. Uh, and I'll be right back. Okay, I think stepping away for a minute is it's the right thing to do with a, uh, an adventure game because I've got an idea now. Let me get something to write on again. Here we go. Alright, so let me remind myself who's who. So, Y, X, M, and P. Because it occurred to me that um, for each of the members of the family, there is something associated with them. So with Y it's a rat and with X it's the shed uh, and with M it's the that flowery uh, 
dress and with P it's a bottle. So if we see how many barks the dog does at each of those things, that could be our code. So let's do rat. Is that eight? <laughs> it went a bit quick. I think it was eight. Um, and then I'm going to do the shirt. And that's fine. I kill you. Then the dress. That was one. And then the bottle. Three. All right, let's try. Um, I'm I'm going to be close if I haven't got it quite right. I think it was eight five one three nine five one three seven five one three. Oh yeah, there you go. I was one off of the first digit. And the remote control for the TV. Oh, for an awning! Ooh, 3D graphics! I was not expecting this. Okay, so we can walk along there. Amazing. Hopefully it won't uh, buckle under the... St Whoa, okay it did. This is embarrassing. Okay, the dog's scared, that's cool. Let's saunter on home, Milo! Uh oh, the weather's changing. That was a nice palette change. <gasps> Chapter 9, The Final Storm Ooh. Ah look, it's, uh, it's Yvonne With Rat Ooh, and a, ooh, an Escher style uh, tessellating magpies picture Amazing Hi Oh. Uh, hi. Oh, diary. Rat. Key. I'm not sure why we want to read your diary, but let's do it. So we arrived in our new house. I really do like it here. I think it's a better neighborhood. And I got my own room now. Let's hope this time my family doesn't get in trouble again. But my brother already used the shed to grow oregano. He's such a moron sometimes. I mean, he just doesn't learn. My father doesn't appreciate the piano music of our new neighbour, to say least. He tries to remain kind though, which is kind of fun to see. Okay, 26th. Today, suddenly, a magpie entered my room. The bird was totally fascinated by one of my piercings lying on the table. I think he liked the gloss. So I let him take it. I wanted uh, a new one anyway. He flew away with it to its nest. I saw him lose it there. He probably didn't know what to do with it. For the rest, everything is quite boring here. I wish something unexpected would happen. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, it probably would have been easier to read it in the uh, typed up version. But I enjoyed the cursive. Okay, so I think that's. Pro oh, okay. If I shake this enough, do I get a secret? Do I get a secret? No. Okay. I think that's it for the window. So now we know about the magpie and the nest and the piercing. Oh, can I shake it now? Oh, I can move it now. Where would I put that? Up in the nest? Hang on. Are we going to make peace with the magpies? Maybe. Have this for your nest, please. You have it for your nest? There you go. Is that good? <gasps> oh, I love this. Beautiful painting. Ah! <gasps> 
There's the piercing. Can we give it back? Can we give it to you? Perhaps I can jump to my house at the end of this branch. Oh. Oh, maybe. That magpie's gone. These birds are protecting their nest. They certainly are. Look at these bothers. Ah. Ah. Hi. Oh. Why not just want to get home? Okay. Oh, hang on. You've got numbers on you. <gasps> oh. Okay, now I'm going to write these down. I don't know what I need them for. But that's one. That's four. That's two. And that one is five. And that one is. Oh, it's on your head. It's three. <laughs> like, nicely concealed, game. Nicely concealed. Okay, well, what do we need numbers for? Um, there's. What else is there to click on? I can see, kind of see a little bit of our, what presumably is our house over here. Left Milo tries to walk forward again. Get chased back? Okay. Slides back in a very cat like fashion. Alright, is there something else we can do with the house here? Oh, it's cats tessellating into magpies. I hadn't realised first time around. That's pretty delightful. Um, I don't feel like there's anything else we can do here. I feel like the diary was the point. Can we backtrack? This is kind of isn't a backtracking kind of game, is it? Can I go up a different way up the tree? Is there anything else in the tree to... Oh, do I need to just um, get the birds to pop up in the right order? Is that the puzzle? So it'd be uh, the leftmost, and then this one, and then this one facing us, and then this one, and then this one. Is that good? I don't know. Didn't seem to do anything. <laughs> oh, they're all pecking each other's heads. Delightful. <gasps> what the flu? Look, your baby. Your baby. <gasps> oh no. No. That was bad. That was bad. Get your baby back. Poor little bird. Yeah. Come on, Milo. It's time for action. Come on. Yes. Oh. That was close, I guess I have nine lives after all. But now I'm stuck in this tree! How will I ever get home now? Um, yeah, I guess being at the very top of the tree is not great, is it? Just say the life of that little bird. Oh, look at that little bird. Oh. What's gonna happen? Oh, okay, here come the parents. Oh! <gasps> They're gonna fly Milo away! Airlift! To safety! <gasps> Nivon's in the window again. <gasps> oh! 
Oh, your owner was the one you were having a vision of while you were all high on catnip. It all makes sense. Oh, you're home, Milo. <gasps> well, that was just lovely, wasn't it? Wow, I um, I wasn't expecting it to pack such a dramatic punch, but it did. Beautiful. Oh, I really enjoyed that. I um, I thought the puzzles were really good too. I particularly enjoyed the laser pointer one. Was, uh, Bye Milo! <laughs> well, I only found one secret, so if I play the game again, and I'm quite minded to because it was rather enjoyable, there's a secret to find in each, each garden by the looks of it. Wow. There was definitely a gnome, wasn't there? I don't know how I get that gnome, but... <gasps> oh, amazing! Is that... What was this? Oh crap, the game. Not just yet. I'm doing the outro. Brilliant. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, we've we've uh, most definitely played a cat-based game now. And it was a corker. So um, I'll put links in the video description to where you can find the game. And where you can find Johan Skurft. Um, and yeah. And yeah, please please do check out, um, check out their work. Because uh, this has been delightful. And um, when I see you again, we'll be playing something different. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.